Ayn Rand believed that prime movers are the engine that powers society. Without this motor, the modern world would grind to a spluttering halt. Ayn Rand was the founder of a philosophy called Objectivism, which celebrates rational self-interest, laissez-faire capitalism, and progress. She published Atlas Shrugged in 1957, whose story revolves around heroic men of the mind. America is in a dire state, and all other nations are impoverished people's states. Brave industrialists, railroaders, steel magnates, and oilmen try to rebuild America, but the socialistic government is jealous of their genius and launches confiscatory policies which causes them to exile themselves to a hidden valley. Without these wealth creators, America cannibalizes itself and crumbles. Rand's rather ideological view of what would happen if socialism spread everywhere should be queried, but it is still compelling. So are prime movers slash men of the mind simply industrialists? No, they are also traders as well as scientists and philosophers. They are honourable as they are creators and do not thieve. To Rand, tax was theft or loot. A trader is a man who earns what he gets and does not give or take the undeserved. Men of the mind have an amazing capacity to improve humanity's condition. They create skyscrapers, cable bridges, power motors, railroad trains, supersonic airplanes, atom-smashing engines, and interstellar telescopes. They are admirable because to Rand, thinking is man's only basic virtue, and they think the most. The man who discovers new knowledge is the permanent benefactor of humanity. By contrast, socialists stare blindly at the skyscrapers and smokestacks around them, and dream of enslaving the material providers who are scientists, inventors, industrialists. People, politicians, journalists, activists, jealous of the elite's wealth and who want to seize it, both via legal taxation and illegal means, would inadvertently return humanity to a peasant society. Ran contends the Dark Ages were an era of intelligence on strike, when oppressive priests and kings meant prime movers had no incentive to produce, as their wealth would be confiscated and dissenting ideas suppressed. In conclusion, Rand argues the men of the mind are terrific creators who should not be hindered in any way in their march to the heights of human potential. This country was not built by men who sought handouts.